Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about alkalinity and gypsum requirement. So what is alkalinity? So alkalinity is the accumulation of excess sodium in soil which has pH range more than 8.5 and ESP is more than 15 and SAR value is more than 30. SAR stands for sodium absorption rate and ESP stands for exchangeable sodium percentage. India is a diverse uh, country environment. So why environment diversification leads to alkalinity? Most of the regions of semi-arid and arid regions uh, possess the uh, classification criteria of alkaline soil or sodic soil which have high sodium concentration. So what is basic, basically what is condition of sodium does to the soil and what are the regions that are affected by sodicity. So when we look to the region of semi-arid and arid regions like Rajasthan, Gujarat, some areas of Haryana and Punjab, uh, Punjab and uh, other South Indian regions of uh, sea sites that uh, that has sodic sodic soils so what are the sodic soil and why is this a concern of agriculture practices for so long that many research is going on in this field so basically uh, sodium concentration in soil deteriorate the physical condition of soil the physical structure of soil and uh, reduce the nutritional con content of the soil and causes nutritional disorder so, so as well as soil alkalinity stress to the crops so it makes it narrows the range of crop choices for agriculture and it so what we needed to do what we need to do for uh, that kind of soil the solution is application of gypsum or gypsum like amendments like iron pyrite sulfuric acid calcium chloride or sulfur as an amendment for alkaline soil so why it is a concern so why gypsum uh, so what we need to do we need to apply amendments to reclaim the soil to normal condition so we can grow the uh, crops so easily the major concern is so ph is high very high and esp percentage is very high we are uh, it is very hard to grow crops and very few crops are tolerant to such level of alkalinity so what alkalinity does to soil the sodium forms uh, resides in soil as a sodium carbonate or bicarbonate which is a very uh, very uh, troublesome for uh, agriculture and when we apply calcium sulfate and gypsum in a soil sodium content leach as sodium sulfate and the problem of uh, alkalinity reduces accordingly when calcium replaces sodium in the soil so what we what is gypsum requirement and how we calculate the gypsum requirement gypsum it is uh, icr i am not going for the traditional method of gypsum requirement the spoon over method or uh, I am going to talk about the friend, farmer friendly method about the gypsum calculation. ICR with Central Soil Salinity Research released an app called GypCal which is available, easily available on Play Store which can be downloaded easily and we can calculate the gypsum requirement. So how it can be done? When you open the app, uh, it starts the process. When you, it asks for you certain uh, criteria uh, uh, about your name and uh, location of the field and some soil parameters like pH of the soil. Suppose you have a pH of 9 or 9.5. You enter the pH 9.5 and again you go for the parameter next. Next parameter is type of soil, light, medium or heavy soil. You select according to your soil type and select the, suppose I have selected medium and then you select the amount, uh, the length of root zone 15 centimeter or 30 centimeter or 7.5 centimeter based on your crop choices and then you select the length and you select the area according to length and breadth in meter and then you calculate the exchangeable sodium percentage then you select the calculate button which automatically calculate the amount of uh, gypsum required for the, that amount of area based on the above entered information so you can easily get the if you suppose you have it, it tells 80 kg for the amount of area you select it and it, you can easily apply the gypsum in that field and reclaim the alkaline soil into much normal range. To reduce the cost of uh, gypsum in the f application, we have some uh, research, agrotechnologies research that has been done uh, that I want to share with you so we can reduce the cost of gypsum application or other amendments. So what we have to do? to apply gypsum before application of gypsum first step you have to uh, irrigate the field the required field so you can leach out some amount of sodium earlier 
and then you have to calculate the dose according with uh, the application or the traditional method by ESP calculation and the amount of ESP to have, we have to bring down and then you can uh, calculate the amount of dose of gypsum and then you apply the amount of gypsum to the following field and again you reach down for the, uh, for the particular days and then the sodium is leached out as a sodium sulfate from the field. Then you grow some amount of, uh, you, you grow cisbania or dhecha or green mineral drops for uh, further uh, reclamation which uh, brings down pH considerably, considerably and then you plant uh, crops like rice and for subconsecutive cropping next season you uh, plant weeds. So, it is a general cropping pattern recommended in uh, alkinity regions because uh, rice uh, can be uh, grown in submerged soil as well it can uh, tolerate large amount of uh, ESP around 50. So we can grow rice and it can easily reduce uh, the alkinity level of the soil. So basic, basically uh, the research says that you can uh, use the cropping pattern of cisbania, rice and wheat for uh, recombination uh, purpose of that alkaline soil. This is the basic structure. The general recommendation of gypsum for hectare is 10 to 20, 12 ton generally which is uh, far higher and the cost of it, cost of gypsum is too high and that the, so the cost of production is also increases considerably, considerably and that makes the farming process and recombination is very tough. That's why we use the sesbania rice and wheat cropping system and we reduce the amount of gypsum for that uh, and the cost of production is uh, reduced. That's accordingly we can uh, increase the organic matter content, organic matter application that is reduce the alkalinity and so on the uh, further process that can reduce the application of gypsum. This is how we can uh, calculate the gypsum easily and apply on the fields and as well as uh, uh, you can easily measure uh, the amendment efficiency and the amount of you can reduce the cost of application and uh, you can easily select your cropping system accordingly you can reduce the pH considerably and then you can choose the cropping pattern hope this video is helpful for you and this is the general uh, uh, farmer purpose uh, video about the gypsum calculator and uh, gypsum reclamation technique in alkaline soil hope you like the video so if you like the video uh, share with your friends and if you have any doubts uh, ask in the comment section ask in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe our channel so i can make the, that this con uh, content like this for your future